What's up guys, Mr. Ed Reeves here and I'm back again with another player review, this time it's Muhammad Ali and you see, looking at his in-game stats we have 88 acceleration, 82 sprint speed and 80 strength. Some other key in-game stats there, but going on to skill attributes we have 85 finishing, 79 dribbling, 70 long shots, 78 shot power, 72 short pass and 68 volleys. His volleys are actually pretty decent, I, I felt they were higher than 68 and uh, sorry, 75 ball control. Looking at the side there we have pros and cons. Firstly on to the pros, his strength, he is as strong as anything. I would um, I would honestly compare him to the likes of Ben Taka. Uh, his finishing is unbelievable as well. Looking at his in-game stats, it's 85, so he'd expect it to be good, and it is very good. A, con a pro of this is that his skills, he has four-star skills, and it's so smooth to like, pull off skills with him just because of that 88 acceleration. And uh, speaking about 88 acceleration, his pace is absolutely lightning quick. I wouldn't compare him to Biabiani or Theo Walcott or anyone like that, but he is absolutely flying down that wing. Uh, he's a great ball winner and his position is actually quite good, even though it's quite low in the uh, in-game stats. And I was surprised how good of a ball winner he was because I knew he had great strength, but his aggression was absolutely dog's bollocks. It was only 30s or something, maybe even 40. Not too sure. Uh, look at the cons there, his dribbling was a massive letdown for me. Like I thought he was going to be absolutely brilliant. I didn't know. Sorry, I didn't think he was going to be absolutely brilliant at dribbling. I didn't expect him to be as poor as he actually is, because he always hits it in front of him whenever he starts to dribble, dribble, and uh, it was just poor. And another thing, he's too inconsistent. Like this game here, the Arsenal shirts, he was absolutely outstanding, winning everything, getting a few goals, playing past and all that stuff. But like I played eight games of him, and you see, I'd say about three games out of the eight he played well, and the other five he's absolute shit. So uh, inconsistent is definitely up there. Um, another thing I did wasn't too sure to put in pros or cons was his nationality and his club, because he is Norwegian and he plays for our Norwegian team, I believe. And uh, but what's good about them is that he has a perfect league with Hovland, who is an unbelievable centre back. He's so fast and his great strength and he's just bringing it all together and uh, he also has a perfect link with Birgit and he also has a perfect link with that left back who also has a rape face on him so I'm sure you know who I'm talking about so uh, that's very good if you're making a silver squad so you just get an easy perfect link but other than that like he doesn't fit into too many other squads and uh, so I wasn't sure what to put that in so I just left it out another pro that I forgot to mention is his price I got him for like 13k so he's pretty much he's just this squad price for a silver in form. So uh, you can't do much about it. If you want to try him out, I would highly recommend it because I'd definitely recommend him in a left wing position because he's absolutely outstanding. Anyway, cut up the end of the video here. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and even subscribe. Thanks very much and peace.